As much as I hate to admit it, Glenn Hyatt. Carol, we need our fucking help. All these cops. And she's all three. Plus, she is this. And she is fucking powerful. The most powerful person in your dojo, dude. She's better than Susan Hyatt. Inform her to protect me, Glenn Sensei Hyatt. I got a lot of... Yeah, you know what I was saying? I was jumping cops and beating the shit out. Dude, these cops were fucking jacking your student up. That's only a blue belt has black belts. They broke code. I was under the age of 18. Way under the age of 18. I'm 14 now, Glenn. Get in your class with the orange fucking hair. I'm only 14 fucking years old. They busted my head open, Glenn. Since they Glenn I am. They busted my head open in third grade. Almost killed me. I don't have any recollection of memory before like 2012. That's why I'm 14 years old. I just hit my female mark. Like it happens every three weeks. My voice still screams. Listen to this. Dead bite, sleep tight. Don't let the dead bugs bite. Okay? My voice screaks like it cracks like that. It stretches like that. <clears throat> it's very weird when it does it. <clears throat> and I gotta do that every single time after I do that. Okay? I'm still going I'm going through puberty right now, Glenn. Let's say hi, I'm going through puberty. I got feelings that I've never felt before. Emotions I've never felt before. On one hand I want to do and then on the other hand I know it's wrong, so I don't. I don't do wrong things, Glenn. I had to buff myself up bigger than what I was. They wrongfully arrested me on a um, terroristic threat. And there was no ter terrorist threat there. I got released that day because I got arrested that day and released that day because they realized, oh shit, she's only trying to defend herself and we're going to get nailed uh, if we don't really. So what do we do? We release her. And they released me. They realized they uh, were breaking the law and they released me. The cops broke the law. Glenn, not me. Right to freedom of speech. They're they're breaking my constitutional amendment. They've been doing it since day one. American terrorism, Glenn, is what I've been through. I hope you all have a heart, very forgiving heart. If I can forgive this woman right here for everything, if I can forgive her for everything, you certainly can have a heart and forgive me for everything. Glenn, will you align me and Jennifer together, please, so she can protect me and I can protect her? We push everybody out that's messing with our dojo and us, and we cut them off. Protect me, Glenn. You're my sensei. That is your job. That is code. That is martial arts code. You have to protect your students. Please recall a different shot than which. Please. I'm sorry about any misconfusion. I come with the utmost respect. You taught me that it's always better to walk away from fight than when you win, than to confront it head on. I know you lose because you're going to jail or you're getting back up. You were the one that taught me knife fight and you sack your wrists every time you get into a knife fight. You knew I was really good with knives, knife fighting. But you told me that to protect me because if I ever pulled a knife on a cop, boom, I'm dead. But you know I'm lightning quick knife fighting. 30 black belts, 30 brown belts. It, it was like 30 people in this class ranging anywhere from blue belt to black belt. I was wiping them out left and right with knife fighting. I was the quickest knife fighter, and like even the adults, <laughs> and I feel bad to admit this, but even the adults were swinging slow to prove how quick I was with the knife. They could easily wipe me. No, they wanted to prove how quick I was with the knife. Uh, Bruce Lee's granddaughter, Glenn Hyatt, they trained Bruce Lee's granddaughter, me. Bullet in my forehead, bullet in Brandon Lee's forehead, bullet in Bruce Lee's forehead. I was the only one that survived. Holy Spirit kept me alive. He taught me Christianity. Real stuff. You're a good man. And I know you'll do the right you'll do right by me and you'll do the right thing. Glenn, all Asians, we are owed a trillion dollars for them putting us all under American terrorism. If anybody's owed it, we're the one we're the only race that's owed it. Okay. We teach these fuckers how to fight and shit. And they go out and they do 30. 
I've taught a couple people Glen Martial Arts Shaolin. Take one. Dragon King. Crane. Tiger. Panther. Leopard. Yeah, I know how to hold it. I know how to do all the forms of Shaolin, traditional Shaolin. It was my favorite because it was really flashy. Another favorite, Capoeira. And then you sweep, and then come back. And start teaching Capoeira. This is all it is. And you maneuver it in such a way it throws your opponent off, and then you're able to go in for one of these. Sweep, come up, kick head, come up, back flip, front flip, into a windmill kick. And you won't be able to do a climb because of the posture of your body. But teach Wes how to do it. He's got the right body. Ready to be? Right body. Susan Hyatt, right body. It's so sorry, dude. You're protected all the way around. You've got nothing here. Les could land a boomerang kick to a kill shot. He's a professional ninja and then cap it on top of it. Dude, ain't nobody messing with Wes at that point. There ain't nobody challenging JoJo at that point. That I belong to. I belong to your dojo, Glenn. I want you to train me to a black belt. Without fucking sparring. I want you to train me how to throw blows. I want you to train me how to boom hit a kickback and make it count. That's the hardest you've ever seen me. Boom. Okay. Faster. Reverse punches. Reverse inverted. Reverse inverted. Knife hand, break hand. Knife hand, or with your hand. There's a rich hand and a knife hand. That quick. Okay, how do it? So not only did I tag him with the ridge hand, I tag him there under their arm, and then tag him inside of the neck where the juggler is. Go so KO, kill, kill. I know what I'm doing. That shot that you told me that was not a kill, the palm heel the nose and shove it up the no, because you gotta palm heel the nose, and up, hit it up, and then you gotta boom. Bust it in. Because what it does is it sends the palm hill basically here, bust the bone up, which is only cartilage, but up here is bone. So it shatters that, and then it shatters this all the way, or it shatters this part all the way up here, which leaves this very vulnerable. And then you hit it with the palm hill, boom, it kills. The shots, let me show you how quick that is. Let's Quick, a couple extra hits, light and quick, five strikes in less than two seconds. I think I should be a black belt. I have an instructor, not even junior instructor, instructor. My kicks are low. I don't throw high kicks or mid kicks. I throw low kicks. Why? Bust out the kneecap, make him lean for Boom! Oh man. KO. And kick low, boom! Hit at the same time. Adam's apple kill shot. How many of your students know that crap? And I know more sneak maneuvers than that. Then I'm trained in traditional Shaolin to a T. I'm trained in um, all some forms of the animal, including mantis. Mantis is all about block and kill shot. Praying Mantis, research it. Blocked and kill shot. The defense offense. Snake, that's all defense. Looks like offense. It's not, it's defense. You gotta wait for them to come in. Over their arm. Boom, strike. They throw the first punch. You dodge, dodge. Boom, hit them with snake form. Dragon, that is all offensive, and that's where your brute force power comes from in Shaolin. Panther, that is a scare. Into leper, into tiger. 
and you strike with Tiger, you fake out with Flipper, you fake out with Panther, and then boom, Tiger. Tiger is where they fall fail, where they fall fail to, because you can go, pan, you can go into Leper, into Panther, into Leper again, and then into fucking Tiger. Since they had fake knives, and I was going, <laughs> or strike, I said, 30 people lined up around me, and, <laughs> and I'm taking them out left and right with a knife. Whole thing, 30 people lasted for about 10 seconds, and I had all of them dead. <laughs> it was filmed by a jester, chapter president. Threw it on YouTube. That was me, mocked by me, like I had 30 people around me. I was going, <laughs> nine left in second right. They were from me. <laughs> slice up and down, slice down. Now their wrist here is gone. Their wrist here is gone. Dead. <clears throat> Len, rank me to minimum first degree black belt. Minimum. Or junior instructor. Line me up to teach your students so that I can make some cash. You'll get the majority of it. I only need enough to survive. I need about a uh, thousand bucks a month out of the rest because that keeps me in motels that actually gets me into a house but i have nothing no money to spend Glenn, i'm willing to teach people under your name and be reputable about it bring you more business let's see they learn from me and then i send it to you once they're trained by me beginning and then you advance them to a higher rank and then we are solid dojo in two states. And I got your back and you got my back. And make a solid alliance. In Florida, Illuminati, Freemason, Skulls and Bones, Knights Templar, Rosie Templar. I joined the order, Glenn. I'm Illuminati. Should we turn Illuminati members good? Training them, being ninja assassins. Then we got more back for our dojo. Then we're silent, but we're Illuminati and we're ninjas at that. All of a sudden, every fucking cop backs up. Me and you. And all your students are safe. The longer do you have to throw extensive access to kill? Because it got to the bottom of that cops with that kid and you're training them to be tough, to beat the cops' ass. The story can be credible and true. Proof I've been raped. That's what they're doing, Glenn. That's what happens that three days after you've been raped. You pass gas like that. And it sounds like that. And it hurts all the way up to here in your belly button. <clears throat> past your belly and then <clears throat> you feel all it just push. And there's intense pressure for like two seconds and then it calms down. They used a condom. Eight cops, Glenn. They handcuffed me and used a condom. All on train rides. It's fucking pissed. Then I wanted to beat their ass so bad, but I couldn't. And I was outnumbered. I have Kato Black Belt, say to him, and I'm fucking uh, Shaolin, uh, basically master in um, traditional forms, or high ranking Shaolinist, and uh, Bruce Lee's daughter. And I still, inch punch, and I still would be outnumbered. Then I throw an inch punch, three cops would tackle me and fucking hang on me, and then rape me again, and then throw me in jail, and brutally rape me, and then try to murder me. That's the way it goes every time I go to jail. And I've been wrongfully arrested nine times. Can we get all nine charges dropped? Uh, my criminal record clear. And uh, my weapons rights uh, reinstated. You have my word. I will not pull a weapon unless someone pulls one on me first. I need a weapon. And I need legal rights to carry. Anyway, you can clear up the whole shit with law enforcement in Pierce County area. 
cleared up with the judge, Judge Andrews. I'm reinstating my rights. The security guard wrote me two nights before. I went to the hospital, or the night before. I went to the hospital the next night. He fucking was pushing on me. Ten times I told him knock it off. All ten times I told him last time I'm a cop. He followed me up the ramp. So I turned around, splashed him with coffee. Six of them. Or four of them. Tackled me down the ground hard. And I was pregnant and caused me to miscarry. Because they slammed me down again. They had me in handcuffs. The cops re-handcuffed me. And it is handcuffs back. They stick me in the car. They pulled the sneak boat and fucking jabbed me right in the, right in the stomach with a uh, nightstick. And they slid it back in. Quicker than it could be seen on camera. They were ninjas. Targeting a blue belt ninja. And a black belt. They heard the law that was going to appear. Break serious scope. Like they target six year old children now. A lot of Caught him numerous times. Anyway, the dojos can, uh, some of the kids are Asian dojos, Korean, Filipino, uh, Chinese, and Japanese. Anyway, we can call one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. All on housing. All four groups. And then we have all these guys. And race, unsaid. Martial arts style, unsaid. Because the code is like this. Ain't like this. Ain't like this. It's like this. And you get what I'm saying. Maybe it's this. 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 Who knows? I don't know. One of the groups. Let's pop this find out the hard way. Get out back to Shrimp Boy. Chinese mobster boss. Shrimp Boy. I'm sound up numbers. The Pierce County area. The fucking deal with cops. And the child rapist and the rapist. When I'm 14 years old, you are mandated by law to protect me. Carol booted me out of the house when I was nine, Colleen. Forcing me to live on the street homeless. From the time I'm 10 till the time I'm 12. And dosed me. Almost to death with rattlesnakes and cobras. And Ten years old. The day flip ID that said that I was 38. The UN Chief Police Fife admitted I was a minor child, 17 at best. He said, You sound like more like you're like 10 or 11. I said, No, I'm like 17. He goes, No, you're more like 10 or 11. Chief Police Fife. That was the number. When? Here's the number. Chief police number is, uh, let me get that real quick. And they're trying to wipe him out because he's trying to help me. And he's a chief police in his own force trying to wipe him out. Uh, and government's trying to wipe him out. He needs help, and so do I. 253 896 8247. 253 896 8247. I'm violent, I'm non aggressive. I teach people how to be badasses, and then I have them protect me. Them protect me. Because I work like a boss. I don't throw blows. I let my enforcers throw the blows. And then they go, and then I go, <clears throat> and we're counting cards in our casino. It's as simple as that. And they get the picture where they fucking put no card in another kid. Because when six of them beat their ass, and I go, <clears throat> don't, don't count cards in our casino again. That means next time I'll have them jack them up and uh, throw them against the wall, busting their head up and cracking their skull and killing them. There's one from And they go, Oh, I'm not going to do that again. Good. Now get the out of here. Now, face. So, Glenn, we'll end work together now that I got honest with you. Let's see. Yep, the cards say you are. Lucilo? A Thurman. Maybe. Maybe. No. Well, let's see what the hidden card was. No. I'm a Thurman who wants more out of me. Maybe. No. You ready to jump in? Maybe. Maybe. Nope. 
you're gonna let Lucy Lou handle it because she's the boss of the Levi for Assassination Squad. Consider me like the CEO, her like the president, Lucy Lou, like the vice president. President and vice president, uh, CEO and vice president. CEO and president don't involve in business. The president does. The president's weight is all the president's weight sold. Bosses, me and Uma Thurman give the commands and the rest of them carry it out. That's what makes us bosses. Here, here are some free cards. Go take care of this thing. Here, here are some free cards. Go take care of this shit. Glenn, these are $25 to $50 a pop alone just based on artwork. Probably more. I got 20 of them in stock. Help me. All 20. Let's see that. Or any Asian. We'll sell them to whatever you want to. We can get a picture blown up. Stick this in a card sleeve. Stick it in the corner of the picture. And then it's like 350 bucks per picture. And there's 20 of them. And then just mass produce more. Just kick me a percentage. I'm an ordained ribbon. 10%. That's fair for me. And $350. I'm cool with 35 And then I'm making enough money to cover my rent. And I'm producing and producing. Producing and producing. And, and you guys are selling off the chain. And I have a really cool sculpture that I drew, Glenn. Asian, look at what I drew. Freehand. Bing. I told you I study. That one's like 50 bucks. Picture frame, picture, and sign Marilyn Monroe. My, my name, Marilyn Monroe. My, pseudonym, my pseudonymous Marilyn Monroe is in my great-great-grandmother Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> yeah, that was confirmed. I'm Marilyn Monroe's kindred. I'm the last baby born in the Monroe clan. And it is a clan. Marilyn Monroe is, and the Monroes are a clan. They got anointed through the vampires as a clan. Let me give you a hint. I'll run apartments, Division Street, somewhere. Can you do this? Yeah. No, can you do this? And show me like 30 times, and I barely got the hang of it because of my cross helmets and things like that. You wonder why I couldn't take a kick to the stomach line? I was afraid of being killed. I almost got drowned in three years ago. Losing my breath scares the shit out of me and makes me overventilate and over panic. Carol was putting me up. Because she's a temple order, Priory Sion, and she's a ninja assassin trying to kill her own cub, me, because she is a predator. But we're gonna wipe the slate clean, and she jumps in and moves me in and protects me for a minimum of four years till I'm 18 or indefinitely. Or you just come in, ninja, you thought you were bad. We wiped you out. And Mike, you thought you were a badass leader. We wiped you out too. And then you give me the key staff and say, Congratulations, you earned black belt status. And I own it. And I bring Brenda B in. She's paying the mortgage every month. It's me paying the mortgage. We're creating card games together, martial arts and everything else. And uh, Brenda B and me are making money. And we're paying taxes to you, Glenn Hyatt. Street taxes, dojo street taxes. So we're getting about 30%, and me and Brenda splitting 70%. She gets 45, I get 45. That is the new platonic husband, slash mom, slash auntie. And everyone can guess which one it is. Poker, poker face. Do we sleep in the same bed, in the same bed? Do we sleep in two separate beds in the same room so she can keep me safe and protected? Do we sleep in separate rooms? But she's got the house flooded with ninja swords. For me and her to grab one and take care of anybody that would walk through that door. Coated with carbon and rattlesnake venom. Or cobra venom. Or coral venom. After all, my nickname is Coral Snake. I'm the Deathly Viper Assassination Squad, and it was anointed by Uma Thurman. And I'm Coral Snake. Hey, replacement. Um, I can 
can do that scene where she pops and with a very whoosh, I can do that when the cop or with the gun. When the cop or the perp grabs their gun, you gotta grab the hand. Boom! And you slice it like a gun. And you come up, boom! Slice it like a Through right here underneath the nose, I make it profusely bleed. Almost to death. If they're lucky. If they're not, they die right there. Within 10 minutes. Or less. If it's coated with venom, it's like a pain in the Because that's straight to the brain. Dead. Especially if you're dealing with a uh, sea crate, coral, uh, giant trapdoor spider, centipede, bunch frog. Um, there's other things that can kill, and I got a name all. Hollyberry. Um, arsenic. Melted down into a liquid. Coated on the blade. Arsenic. Uh, nightshade. Belladonna. Mm, Belladonna will cause them to hallucinate as well. Um, these are just all just ideas. So I'm not breaking the law, I'm just giving ideas. Uh, there are more chemicals. Um, lithium battery, strychnine. There we go, we'll hit the other one. Antifreeze. And antifreeze can be bought anywhere. Deadly. Antifreeze gets in your system, they don't die. Whether it's just a tiny amount or a large amount. Okay. You're gonna drop that shit. It's deadly. Every time. You don't get medical treatment within the first hour. And it is deadly. It will blend its own DNA. It hits your kidneys and it shuts them down. Accordingly. And it attacks the liver. The kidneys are dead. Well, the liver goes. Then you have respiratory issues. And then your heart attacks. So it's very painful, excruciating, till the end, death. I said, please send it in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Our Asian culture here in America. Very female. Watch. It back to Rick, Raider Lakes, and any from Japan, and he's Jap purebred Japanese. He's purebred Japanese, and uh, he's connected to Japan. Uh, uh, ice, Oof. 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 I'm on his side. I might have proposed Dr. Moon. Or maybe Rick, you're watching this. And you're getting an idea. You see, group of crawlies floating all over the bushes, trees, streets. Poison dart frogs everywhere. Bunch frogs. And, and bunch frogs and trees. And it's just a really nasty thing. Giant trap or spider. Imported from the boom. And they're under the ground. Cop comes up, boom, and strikes. Boom. And they're in my tiny Shit like that. That's the best way to handle it. Then government moves in with SWAT. So we have a ninja sneak with a crate this big, full of black mammoths, baby black mammoths, and uh, two that are this long. They can go right on the fucking ninja. And it, they go out. So that's it. Quicker. They're 50 mile an hour snake. So SWAT rolls in, and they fucking blood underneath the SWAT car and they detect movement. So as the vibration of the car, the SWAT van, they're moving quick. And then they're all there, 50 of them. They open the SWAT door, bam, 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 every SWAT member thing. They all had guns. We had nothing and the snakes killed them. So then they got a the military. Hmm, they're gonna shoot them all the guns. Blow guns to the sides of cheeks. Arsenic, carbon, um, poison, I, poison oak, poison ivy, rattlesnake venom, cobra venom, crepe venom, 
So it hits, scratch, 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 scratch. And the oak will cause it to scratch it, which will open it more to cause the venom to drain more down inside. So it's getting like water for the use of venom and then it's scratch, scratching the I mean, just. We're, we're trying to sauce it. Let's go with this military. We're not after you. But if you jump in on government side, yeah, you will be a marked target. Join us, we will protect you. Go against us as a ninja versus the military. Shamans versus the military. Or drink Thank you.